So not the best start to the day. I gotta travel. And TQ's gonna be rocking out the lawns. And I had a guy that we've used before. Sorry if I get dark for a second. I'm looking for my sunglasses. There they are. Had a guy uh, set up to work with TQ. And we've used him before. And he's worked out sometimes. Other times, you know, you know how you get those guys. You know, they got a lot of excuses as well. Woke up first thing this morning. Can't work. Blah, blah, blah. So it really doesn't matter at this point. TQ will get it done regardless. We both know that we can handle whatever comes our way. Packed up, got my coffee, ready to roll. All right, guys, made it to Cleveland International Airport. Made it through TSA, first stop. Gotta get coffee. Madison Hotel at the Mall of America. All right, guys, just got to my hotel. Going to get everything set up for creating content. <clears throat> Always got to have charged batteries. So just a quick little setup. You can snap this on anything. So obviously TQ's not with me on this trip and that kind of throws off the way that I normally film things. Not that I can't do it myself, but I like having my partner there. So I want to give a great big shout out to the guys who stepped up, Cameron with Lawn Care Life in Missouri and Christian with CNI Services from Illinois. <laughs> Double under would be tough. Christian, can you give me a really good angle and just go up there and stand? Oh yeah, I'll stand right, right between you and throw them. <laughs> you give it a nice shot? 
You know, editing, you can take without up and everything you want. Exactly. You never know, you never you ever missed. We know what really happened. Oh. Now he's gonna <laughs> jump to, <laughs> jump to them both on the board with the editing. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> I'll give him one more. One more go. Yeah. Boom. First time. First time, guys. First try. First try. <laughs> Natural. Good morning, everyone. How are you doing on this beautiful Minnesota day? Yes, I said Minnesota. Doing something a little bit different today. Up here with a bunch of creators. Heading over to Toro to check out what's new for 2023. What's up, Andrew? What's up, Spencer Lawn Care? <laughs> so we're hopping on a bus. Let's see what we got on here real quick. Who we got right here? Bus, nice flannel. Bus vlog. <laughs> Stony Ridge Farmer. <laughs> Josh. I do it. What's up, Cameron? What's up, man? Long hey. care life in Missouri, right? Hey, Check it out. Get a video. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Abel, <laughs> tell me where you can find you, Abel. Ah, uh, Love Force LLC on Instagram. There you go. Hey, Brad, you Good morning. morning. Yeah. Johnny. Johnny with Blaze Grass Lawn Care, Pop Smoke, baby. Yeah. <laughs> so we're here at Toro headquarters, and what I'm about to show you guys is probably the best looking thing in this entire facility. At least the brightest. I'll say it like that. <laughs> The Golf Master. I don't even know what this color is. I don't know, is that baby blue? Is that Easter egg blue? I don't know. But that color is wild. So I'm gonna show you guys as well because I'm looking at the GoPro and the color does not look the same in person as it does on the GoPro. So what I'm gonna do is take my phone out real quick and I'm gonna take a picture of it because the picture will come out a little bit different. Let me get into my phone here real quick and I'm gonna post side by side exactly what the color difference is. So give me one second here, Let's back up just a hair. Boom, okay, you guys saw me take the picture and I'm gonna put it up here and you'll see the difference in the color. But man, is that a beauty. Look, the seat even pivots out. Golfers, you know, they can't strain too much to get out of the golf cart. Has the carpet. Oh man, put your bags in there. Look at this thing. Nineteen ninety six. Look at that. Try to get you guys close enough you can read it. It was just a prototype. That's really cool. Things are gorgeous, guys. Look at the ingenuity in this. The chain, the sprockets, the bearings that go into that. That is crazy. The color. Different times.
Come here, camera. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're here with the brand spanking new 72 inch Toro Grandstand. Cameron with Lawn Care Life in Missouri has been so grateful to volunteer to film for me. So we're going to get a get the first test on it. I'm ready, man. I'm literally, I'm ready to, for you to try it out so I can get on there. Dude, I'm excited. I'm literally the first one getting on it. Cameron and me were about to duel it out, but I'm like, hey, I got something for Cameron. <laughs> We got Sean Spencer, Spencer's Lanker over here trying out the new brand scheme. Check it out. What do you think, man? First dude, impressions. You were moving on that thing. Well, dude, it's definitely quicker. I think they said 12 miles an hour compared to the regular grandstand guys. 10 and a half, 10. Uh, for the the weight, which I'm assuming is probably just over a thousand, maybe 1200 pound. Oh my goodness. It has phenomenal speed and it is smooth as butter. The big wheels out front with the big deck. I know that's a big concern when you have big deck, big frame, big wheels is scalping the lawn. I don't think this is going to have a problem with it. Just running it, it's smooth as butter. Now, we are on a really nice baseball field, soccer field. I don't even know what this is exactly. Kind of a mixture of both they're using it. But, uh, my goodness. Tank. Grandstand tank. I don't know. It is, uh, it is something. First impressions, I really, really like it. What do you think, Cameron? Oh, it's nice. I've been waiting for this for like, I don't know, five years or so. I'm like, come on, Toro, you got to come out with the, with the bigger, um, you know, just a bigger batter mower for those commercial properties. Right. And I think this is the ticket, man. I'm thinking like, hey, we throw some dual wheels on the back, <laughs> you know, we just Start pop climbing. it on out here. She's big already. We might as well go bigger. Hey, just go ahead and do it, man. I think I might have ruined Stan's video. I'm sorry, Stan, it wasn't intentional. I was just kind of in my zone. I know you were in your zone. Do you want me to film for you? Yeah, Give her some goose.
So quick little backstory here. It's not every day the Toro company tells you to try to break their $30,000 plus dollar mower. Whether it's a battery unit or a gas powered unit, I don't recommend you to do what I'm about to do. But I couldn't pass up the opportunity to uh, get this battery unit into some tall stuff and actually see if I could break it. And uh, yeah, I don't recommend you to do this. This is a finished mower. It's not meant to cut this style of stuff that I'm about to run it through, trees, brush, all kinds of craziness, but hey, they told me I, I could do it. I'm waiting on Brad Let's to finish up. Oh, sorry. No, you're good. I wanted to turn the other way and shoot out so I wasn't continuously just running over the stuff that I had just ran over but I didn't anticipate all these guys filming right there so I had to kind of keep the deck shooting one way which was probably a better thing so we didn't make too much of a mess. Now where's that backpack blower? You need to blow that thing off. I got a Minnesota baseball out of it. What? What? What are you gonna do? Hey, I gave you guys something to use that backpack blower on. <laughs> Thank you. Yep, you're welcome, man. Alright guys, so we took the battery. As close as the pond as they would let me. I'm not gonna lie, I think I was gonna go until we got it wet. But, it, you know, 30 plus thousand dollar machine. I understand their concerns as well. 
But hey, ready? did some work. Get it, get it. Johnny blades of grass. Like new baby. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that platform I think is gonna be able to be used for a lot of different things. I know a lot of you have been using a square barrel and like them. I've never personally, but I think one would sit right on the front of there or a brute trash can, all the above. What the heck? It's Tuesday and Thursday. Like we just not working those days. Need coffee. Everything's kind of still closed. It's kind of early. I mean, Minneapolis time early, <laughs> not early Ohio time. Even the coffee shops are closed. And I'm like, I think in Ohio, we open our coffee shops up whenever uh, the sun comes up. You'd have a lot of, a, a lot of Buckeyes that would be upset. <laughs> so. Yeah. Man, I remember when my kids were into that. Paw Patrol, Nickelodeon. I don't know what that is. Toys. They have an indoor, I think it's like a water slide. A lot of restaurants up there on the third floor. A lot of restaurants way out there. Movie theater. Crazy big mall. Everybody said you gotta try it. Caribou coffee. All they had was a light roast, so. Yeah. I'll rock it out. Gotta sweeten it up a little bit. So. Give it a go. It's gonna be a yay or nay. That's good. Caribou coffee. Light roast. I'm typically a dark roast person. This one's good. Straight up, shoot it. Yeah, it's good stuff. It's been fun, Minneapolis. Until next time, big shout out to the Toro company, Andrew, his entire team. It's been a pleasure hanging out with you guys, checking out all the cool equipment. Minneapolis is beautiful as always. Keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. Let's head back to Ohio.